Hey guys, in this video, I'm talking about a tool that's new to me, Deltec Acumen Fuse. That's right. So Deltec Acumen Fuse has been around for quite a long time, but it's new to me and I'm going to try to break it down for you. We're going to start in this video by talking about how to run something pretty simple, a DCMA 14 point schedule check on your project using Deltec Acumen Fuse. Ready? Let's go. Let me start by saying, wow, if you have never used Deltec Acumen Fuse before, it's a little bit like stepping into the cockpit of a 747. There's an enormous amount of buttons and things and colors, and you can tell this is a power tool. But like being in a 747, it's exciting, but how do you make it go up? You know, that's kind of the question. So that's what I want to do is try to break this down for you a little bit. Let's start from the beginning. Let's run a simple DCMA 14 point check on one of the sample projects that comes with Acumen Fuse. I'm on the S1 tab and no surprise, I'm going to be working with P6 XER files. So let's go to the Oracle Primavera P6 menu here and import a single project from an XER file. Okay, so I have this ship baseline XER file, and yeah, I'm just gonna click OK to import it, okay? Seems to be a two-step process. I have imported it into the workbook, but it says here, this project has not been imported yet. You can perform the following actions on this project. So you can do a bunch of things. I just wanna import it, so I'll just click Import All Projects. Okay, so here we go. On the S1 projects, tab, you can see the activity, activity list here. What I want to do is I want to see the whole thing. So here's how we can expand my Gantt chart out to see the whole thing. I'll just go to the activity view and grouping and down at the bottom display level, there's this nice little slider. I'm just going to slide that all the way over. And now I can scroll and see my entire project there. So that's really nice being able to see my project. And this is very much like being in a P6 type setting with my tabs on the bottom and my Gantt chart up in the top. But how do we get to that DCMA 14 point analysis? Okay, let's go. What we wanna do is we wanna run some diagnostics. So let's go to the S2 tab, diagnostics, okay? And what we need to do is we need to fuse. <laughs> That's what they call it. So instead of schedule, there's this nice fuse button. So let's go ahead and click fuse. And that seems to be initiate the analysis on the project. Great, so I hit fuse and all of a sudden, whoo, there's my dashboard again. Lights, buttons, things going on. What is happening in here? All right, well, I wanna run a 14 point schedule analysis check. So down at the bottom, you can see there are a whole bunch of different analysis options for me. And I've picked here DCMA 14 point. So go ahead and click that. You may have to fuse it again to get the results to pop up. Now let's have a look at what's going on here. What we have in the top upper left hand corner is basically my timeline for the project. It's a 12 month timeline and with a really rough Gantt chart single line bar. And what I really like about Fuse here in the analysis is that it has actually taken those 14 points, my DCMA, and it's given me all the analysis on the right hand side for the entire project. So I can see the results of the analysis for the entire projects really at a bird's eye view. But it's also taken that analysis and broken it down in a monthly view. And that's what I have here going on in the bottom left hand corner is a monthly view. So for each month, I can see where logic is a problem, what activities in that month have problems with logic or what activities in month seven have a problem with high float. Okay, so all of this is really cool. Let's, lots of slice and dicing right away. So all of these options are clickable. All of these colored areas are clickable and I wanna focus on high duration. So let's go to eight here, high duration. The other thing I really like are the tool tips that pop up. So if you're not sure what number eight check is, it's a high duration check with a tool tip here. It says total number of activities that have a duration longer than two months should not exceed 5%. That's the DCMA uh, threshold. Let's click three. Let's click the orange box. And down here at the bottom, wow, I get a lot of stuff. 
So I've figured a few things out. This is a scorecard view, but what I could do is just give me the tabular view. There we go. So when I click three in the tabular view, I can see in the entire project which activities are bypassing that threshold or over the high duration threshold. And here they are, right? Okay, so now I can zoom in and really see what's going on. Now, if I wanna change this view and get a little bit more uh, detailed into it, check it out. Let's do a Gantt chart. So I can see now those same activities, but in a Gantt chart view, which again, allows me to analyze, see where they start, see where they finish. Now, if there's too much stuff going on the screen here for you, here's another great option that I really like. You can click this undock button, and that does the analysis up here in a pop-up screen. And that's really great because now I can also uh, flip views so I can see my Gantt chart view up here if I want, or I can see this detailed view, which has all sorts of detailed information about these individual activities. There's a lot of stuff going on here, as you can see. What if I want to um, export this into a report? Well, that's pretty easy. There's a to Microsoft Excel button right here. So I can quickly export this. I'm gonna to go to my desktop and let's just take um, the default name, which I really like. And then boom, it opens it up in Excel. And now I have that mini report available to me for those particular activities. So lots of flexibility, lots of options. But to me, these are the main things that I wanna do. How do I run the DCMA 14 point? How do I get some of those results into Excel so that I can go back and cross-reference them in P6 and make those corrections? So how do I get the entire report exported to Excel? So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click Reset Display and it's gonna fuse one more time. And now I'm going to go to publish. And this time I'm going to do publish the entire report to Microsoft Excel. Once again, I'm just going to put it on my desktop, save it there. And look at this wonderful report that comes out with color, with formatting. It's really quite awesome. So I can have that entire ribbon view in Excel. I can Keep that as a snapshot in Excel if I want. And then I also have these additional tabs, the ribbon analysis tab with the results, as well as the phase analysis tab. And there's a lot of stuff in there. So if you're completely new to Dell Tech Acumen Fuse, hopefully you got a couple tips and tricks in this video, how to just get started, import a schedule, do a quick, analysis checks say I did DCMA 14 point, but you could also choose any one of these other checks, which we'll dive into in future videos. There's a lot to unpack here, and I will be bringing more videos to you to unpack more of Dell Tech Acumen Fuse as we go. Hope you learned something. I'm Michael. I'll see you in another video.